Hi, and welcome to Queer Zone. I'm Anna, and this is... Aaron. Yeah, and uh, last night was Pride March. Certainly was, oh, and yesterday. Ride. And yeah, Pride March night. And wasn't it fun? That was excellent, wasn't and it? thank you to everyone who came out and cheered us on and gave us a lot. Tonight we've got a bit of a retrospective, haven't we? Yes, we're we're going to show two of our two or three of our stories, two of our um, pop, most popular stories. The first one on vets, and the second one on, on butt, butt plugs. plugs. <laughs> Backed by popular demand. Yeah. I'm in South Melbourne searching for an animal hospital, but I'm told it's just been opened by a spooky young vet. Now I want him to look at my titties. But I'm going to probe him ruthlessly before I let him at my pussy. Ah, oh, here we are, Dr. Mark Sergio. I do hope he can fit me in. I'm told he's very attentive. Now, I'm going to have you been practicing. Well, sir, I got to have the money for it, so this is uh, just in for a few years now. Mark, what's the best thing about being a vet? Well, I think probably the most rewarding thing about being a vet is when you see an owner take home an animal. Healthy and happy, but just got to be still. There must be times when the outcome is not always good. How do you feel then? Well, I mean, it's very frustrating when things aren't going the way you want them to. I mean, I'd like to be able to fix everything, and I mean, that's just not realistic. You know, there are some problems that are beyond any uh, normal man's How often would you recommend people take their pets to the vet? Okay. For a normal healthy animal, once a year is quite sufficient, and at that time, yearly vaccination, you'll be checked out. For uh, older animals, if they've got other health problems, then there might be a need to follow things up more often, perhaps every three months or every six months. Are there any widespread problems in the animal community which face by the animal at the moment? The uh, most serious disease, I think, uh, for dog owners, you are about to otherwise. Uh, that's uh, something that... Uh, which is... Parvovirus is a gastrointestinal disease that uh, causes acute uh, vomiting diarrhea and uh, will often lead to death. Uh, it can be vaccinated against it, and it does not work in all cases of vaccination, so it can have with parvovirus. What advice would you give to people considering purchasing a bed? Okay, I think they need to decide exactly what it is they want from the bed. Uh, if they need to decide what's going to the lifestyle, obviously. You don't buy a bad game if uh, you've got a small apartment and if you don't have the time to be walking at all, at least once a day. Mark, is there any legislation you'd like to see introduced that would help animal welfare? Yes, certainly. I'd like to see changes to uh, the way sheep are transported to the West. Currently, on Australian ships, the majority rate runs around about 60%. That's 350,000 sheep a year. Uh, the conditions on those ships are appalling. The sheep are far too overcrowded. Hence, the idea of that in New Zealand, the maternity rate is set in that way with 1% for the legislation. I'd like to say that here. Yeah. So, Mark, we agreed to do a segment on that to be able to have our viewers with their pets. Uh, how would you like to contact you? Okay, well, if anyone has any questions or problems that they want answered, they can write to uh, me, Dr. Mark, who are the pet TV, or they can fax on 9662-9394. Definitely bring my pussy here in the future for Dr. Mark to poke and prod, and I bet some of you might. How'd you like that, pet? It's a bit of a pity about Dr. Mark. I mean, he's very cute, but uh, apparently he's playing rugby league and. Waxed himself using this jaw. Broke his Poor jaw. Dude. That's why I was a bit. Yeah. 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 He's still cute, though. He is. He's pretty cute for a, for a guy. <laughs> for a guy, yeah. Well, the next one is the butt plug story. Yeah, your favourite story. Oh, well, one of my favourite stories too. Oh, of course. Yeah. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, we do. Don't we? Yeah. Always. We do. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, with, with carnival, are you going to really get dressed up or are you yes, going to dress am. down? Mm. Yeah, I'm dressing up. Really? Oh, but it's really dressing Any down, hints? isn't it? No, just body paint. Look out for a... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. A black girl body paint. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. A bit like you did at Red Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, didn't didn't she look fabulous? Oh. Anyone that saw her would have been mesmerised by her. She was gorgeous. Oh, well, okay. Not not that she, not that you aren't now, but um, always. So here it is, the butt plug story. Butt plug. There's a certain myth that exists in the gay male community about the rectal G spot. 
According to the myth, this explains why some men seem to get so much enjoyment from anal penetration. In fact, some guys even claim they can ejaculate purely through anal stimulation. Well, we thought this was something worth investigating. Are you aware of the rectal G-spot? No. You've never heard of it? Well, to find out. <laughs> then we noticed a certain cafe in Chapel Street. Surely the people here would be able to help us in our investigations. Have you heard of the rectal G-spot? I've heard of that, yes, yes. Can you tell us what you know about it? Just that it's uh, part of the male anatomy and that's the sexual, um, what do you call it, heightened sexual uh, spot in, in the male um, anatomy. And uh, it obviously helps in certain sexual, um, you know, dealings. So that's what I know about it anyway. Yeah. Then we got a tip off that there were a couple of catamites living in a certain apartment in the centre of Melbourne. Surely they would be able to help us with our investigations. Hi, how are you? Welcome to 172, the craziest apartment in the Melbourne seated people. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, Troy. Come on in. Great to have you on <laughs> This is my flatmate. Dixie Lixie. Hi. Hi, Hi pleasure to meet you. I've just poured your champagne. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Okay, so, I understand you guys classify yourselves as bottoms. Can you tell us what does that mean exactly? It means we absolutely love being fat. And me especially, I love hot meat absolutely penetrating my rectum. Uh-huh. What about you, Dixie? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just love anything at me whenever I can. Why, why, uh, why do you like being penetrated anally? What is it that turns you on? It's just a feeling of sheer ecstasy. Just the point when you reach orgasm and the G spot is hit. It's just fabulous. What can I say? It's great. Yeah, I just enjoy the warmth of someone else being at me. <laughs> it's a very intimate feeling. Can you describe for us? Um, when you're being penetrated, how does it feel? Is it pleasure in the actual anal sphincter itself, or is it uh, deeper? I believe it's deeper. The sphincter, definitely. But um, I'm sure there's a spot just behind the sphincter somewhere where you know that it's just the, the spot of to total sexual consummation. <laughs> <laughs> You're great, Dixie. Indeed. <laughs> Then we got another tip off that a certain doctor, Nick Medland, of the Centre Clinic in St Kilda, may be able to assist us. I think what the rectal G-spot refers to is the prostate gland, which is a gland that produces a lot of the fluid that goes in semen, and it sits just under the bladder. And you can actually reach it through the rectum. Uh, it's a gland, it's about the size of a walnut or the size of a plum, and it's on the front side of the rectum, so towards the... Uh, towards the abdomen I suppose towards the front of the belly and it's about I suppose about 10 centimeters inside uh, and most people can reach it with their fingers and it's about the consistency of a unripe plum or an av or a, um, apricot something like that it's sort of smooth round and it's just inside the uh, uh, inside the rectum above the anal canal. Our investigations were going well but we still had more to discover. Have you heard of the rectal g-spot? No, not at all. <laughs> how do people who engage in anal sex, how do they get pleasure? Well, there's a whole lot of things associated with sexual pleasure, of course. I mean, it's the whole psychological and neurological um, aspects to it. But particularly that spot, it's a very sensitive part of the body. The gland is extremely sensitive. Very, when it's rubbed or when it's massaged, it's a very intense feeling. I notice that you know people have to have prostate examinations when they go to see the doctor. And in that sort of situation, when uh, a doctor f examines the patient and feels the prostate gland, most people will find that intense feeling not particularly pleasurable. But in a sexual uh, environment, when people are excited, 
excited that they often find that uh, uh, intensity intensely pleasure, pleasurable. Though they can, some people can find it too intense, I suppose. Um, so people might use that certain, I mean people are having anal sex, certain positions might be more likely to rub up against the prostate gland or particularly when fingering somebody, people can actually uh, uh, particularly go for that, uh, go for that spot. <laughs> so uh, Troy, tell us about some of the toys that you have. Okay, well this is my most popular used toy. This is my trusty pink dildo, a yes. nine inch toy. I fell in love with it the first night I, I used it. It's um, It really does fill the void. So that's that one there. And this one here is a little toy I often wear to the coral supermarket while I do my shopping. This little butt plug, I just pop it in before I leave to go to the shops. And away I go while I'm picking off the groceries off the shelves, I'm getting a sensation at the same time. And it's absolutely heaven. And it's also great for seven, four, seven trips in the pain when you get heavy turbulence. Absolutely heaven. Right. Dixie, do you have any toys? <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. You're not as much into toys. There is one toy up there, though. Oh, there's a toy up here. Yes. I don't think it needs explaining. That's a, that's a gift from Mardi Gras. Assy X, X, Y. 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 Assy X